Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So a host of European GDP growth data today happening. And as you can see on the chart for the euro dollar, after this very, very boisterous rally to the downside for the dollar, we've seen a bit of a support area now, roughly just above the mid 107 handle. So we've just seen a bit of an uptick now in price action, just going above uh, 100 pips actually to the mid 108 area. So if this does continue, could we be seeing a bit of a turnaround? Well, from the beginning of October, as you can see, we've had a vast sell off over 400 pips uh, declining from the value of the euro dollar. And we were worried that we were heading towards parity once again. But with the recent uptick and recent firm support that we've seen, um, as I said, roughly around this area, just above the mid 107 area, uh, we're just seeing now that price action could be having more of a general uplift and the dollar could be slightly weakening but you know these are all big buts because we are awaiting the non-farm payroll data on friday to see if that's going to give the american economy a boost we've got the u.s presidential elections uh, next tuesday i believe it is the 5th of november which is going to be quite a bit of a rocky ride there you know the polls are so close that whoever does win could see a bit of a shake up in the dollar either way as well with trump's expected to lower taxes uh, the democratic party expected to continue with hiking taxes apparently uh, this is the early report so we'll wait and see if that does happen but at the moment as you can see just going back on the charts now we're just waiting to see if we're going to have a bit of an uplift in that particular area and if we do see that then the natural next uh, resistance is the psychological area of 109 so only a few more pips 50 60 pips to go not too much uh, really in this uh, volatile market to start lifting price action quite significantly so we'll wait and see if that does happen and uh, let's just take you on the dollar yen as well bit of a similar scenario we are seeing such a fallout of the yen you know really really pressured by the american dollar really asserting its dominance over the last few weeks and not much is stopping it even though gold was hitting record highs again and again in the last few weeks we did see quite a big run in the american dollar as well so at the moment just hitting a bit of resistance at this top here just below the 154 handle uh, will we see a bit more of a downturn well it will have to be quite a significant downturn because as you can see here we have had slight pullbacks uh, from this particular rally so if we do get another slight pullback it needs to be quite significant well below 150 uh, one would imagine uh, to start seeing a bit of a turnaround uh, and a bit of a negative feeling on the greenback as well. So let me know what you're trading on, what you're thinking, and where do you think the US presidential elections are going? Obviously, the non-farm payrolls before that as well. So quite a lot to digest before next week. So exciting times coming up. Good for the markets, good for trading. So stick with us, stay ahead, trade responsibly, and we'll speak again next time. Bye for now.